Welcome, I'm Dr. Janine Barry, naturopathic doctor, and today I'm talking about iodine deficiency and symptoms of iodine deficiency. So some of the most common ones you'll notice if you are aware of low thyroid function, that often these symptoms correlate because we know that iodine is one of the biggest cofactors needed for proper thyroid function. So the first one is lack of energy and fatigue. So if this is you, you know, make sure that you are upping and checking your iodine status, especially if you've got a number of these symptoms, because this is really important to make sure that you're getting enough and people simply don't realize that iodine deficiency is very much linked to all of these symptoms, as well as muscle weakness. So not having you know the same type of muscle strength that maybe you did at another time in your life, feeling cold all the time, we know this is a telltale sign as well of that low thyroid function. Slow bowel movement, so constipation very much related to thyroid but also an iodine deficiency. Actually having swelling in the thyroid area, a goiter would be related and a telltale sign for the doctor to check on what's going on with your thyroid and potentially that iodine deficiency. Also having chronic dry skin, hair falling out is related to an iodine deficiency and the dreaded weight gain can be part of this complex as well. Having a puffy face and just holding on to excess water fluids in the face area can be related to that low iodine as it's related to the thyroid as well and a decrease in body sweat so when you think that maybe it is a little bit warm or you are exercising you're not sweating as much as what you think you should be then this can be related to low iodine because the body is actually trying to conserve that iodine we know that some of the iodine is released in our sweat so the body's trying to conserve it and that's why you may have poor sweating also high cholesterol can be another symptom of iodine deficiency, a slowed heartbeat as well, also learning difficulties and not having that active quick memory. So a loss of memory can be related to low iodine. Also for women, so chronic miscarriages can be related to low iodine as well as premature deliveries and also uterine fibroids. So that link has been made and making sure that your iodine and your thyroid function is optimized is very important important if you suffer with uterine fibroids and heavy bleeding, so heavy periods for women as well can be related to this deficiency. Now, there are a number of ways that you can test for the iodine deficiency. One of the most simple tests is a urine test, and you're able to get results quite quickly, but it's not always as accurate as some other tests, which I'll get to in just a second. There's also a blood test that is simple, and certainly it is accurate for your iodine status, and it takes a little bit longer, of course, to get the results from a blood work done, but, you know, doctors aren't commonly really looking and searching for this iodine deficiency so it may be something that you need to ask about also there is something that I used to use with my patients which gives you know some information it's not you know the end-all be-all test but it does give some information as to iodine st uh, status and this is an iodine patch test so what you do and what I used to do is paint a little square on my patient's arm with some liquid iodine and I would ask my patient to look at that spot for the next 24 hours and in 24 hours it should probably be pretty much faded or gone or changed in color now if that fading happened much more quickly meaning that the body was soaking up that iodine more quickly that would be an indication of an iodine deficiency and it, it was really cool because my patients would be like oh my god that's so cool like it disappeared in a few hours um, so it was a telltale sign for them to know to make sure that they were upping their iodine status in their diet Diet, and then making those correlations with some of the symptoms of thyroid as well, which would be, again, you know, a great indicator of what was going on in terms of their iodine status. And probably the best test, but a little bit more complicated, is called the iodine loading test. And this actually measures the amount of iodine that's excreted in the urine over a 24 hour period. And it's not the fastest test and also not the most convenient because you have to wait that 24 hours and and checking the urine but it is very accurate as to the iodine status so there you have it you learned a little bit more about iodine deficiency and you know some of the symptoms of that so if you are questioning or you've got a number of these symptoms 
definitely make sure that you're checking your iodine status and I'd love to hear from you as well. So if you do have questions about this video or any question about natural health and healing, I'd love to hear from you. Please drop it in that question and comment section below. Also be sure to share this video. I truly appreciate a big thumbs up if you can give that to me. Thank you so much. And also if you're new here, welcome to my channel. I hope that you'll subscribe. Also click that bell so you'll turn on all of your notifications so you'll always get my newest and latest uploads. And remember to always take good care of your health and do it naturally. Thanks for watching today.